I like that. Just, no, 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 right there, that's good. All right, you know what, hold on a second. Uh, hello? Hey Cliff, it's Maria from B&H. Maria, what's going on, how are you? Do you have time to do 21 questions? Absolutely I do. You know what, Lawrence, let me, uh, let me get back to you, all right? I'll speak to you soon. All right, take care. What's up? So what are you doing? Uh, right now I'm just wrapping up a Zoom call with one of my students out on the East Coast. And what do you do for a living? Uh, partially I'm, I'm doing this for a living. I'm doing remote sessions with my clients pretty much all over the world. Uh, when I'm not doing that, I'm a travel photographer mostly. I do a lot of humanitarian work, some commercial work, uh, some drone work. I'm a certified drone operator. And now I'm getting into virtual reality, doing 3D capture and stuff like that. It's really interesting. So cool. And how are you holding up during this quarantine? How am I holding up? Uh, let me show you. Right now I'm held up in a 26 foot RV, kind of living off the grid, uh, living the dream, the van life out here in beautiful Utah, stuck out here after my last workshop. And uh, let me show you, come take a look. So how did you get started in photography? How did I get started in photography? Travel. That's always been my biggest passion, my first love. Uh, my first trip through Europe, I was there for about three months in Switzerland. And when I got back, I had no way of sharing the beautiful places that I saw. And so immediately after that, I realized, man, I really have to understand photography. I need a way to show this with the world. And from then on in, I was hooked. Before we go any further, I'm about to hike up this, this rock over here. Uh, I know there's gotta be a beautiful view on this other side. The sun's getting really low in the sky. We're getting this beautiful light. You ready to come join? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, try and keep up. So what was your first camera? Oh, uh, what's my first camera? The Canon S50. Five megapixel, state-of-the-art, point-and-shoot camera in the day. Uh, man, that was a fun camera to use. And what's your go-to camera now? What's my favorite camera right now? That's an easy one. My iPhone 11 Pro Max. Most fun camera by far. Uh, I absolutely love it. You do a lot of workshops in Lightroom. How did you get so good at editing? Adobe Lightroom. Uh, I spent years, years and years and years making every mistake possible. And honestly, that's, that's the secret to all of this. You have to make so many mistakes and learn from those mistakes. Not only have I learned from so many mistakes, but now I learn from all the mistakes that my students make and the struggles and the problems that they have. And so, yeah, if I know a thing or two, it's because I've seen a thing or two. Have you been doing some virtual workshops during this quarantine? I've actually done several virtual events since the quarantine. I'm running an event called Projections, which BNH is kind enough to sponsor. We do that once a month. In New York City, now we're doing it virtually. Projections.live. I do a lot of virtual meetings with my students pretty much all over the world, uh, helping them with training, Lightroom, editing, workflow, all of that. So before we go any further, just look around for a second. I mean, just look how beautiful this is. Amazing light, what a gorgeous location, honestly. I feel like I'm just, I'm so blessed sometimes to be out here. Let's go a little further. The light's gonna get even better. And I think I see some really cool things up the, up the road here. Have you ever wanted to get into other types of photography or maybe even video? Is there anything I'd like to get into? Uh, well, I, I do a bit of commercial video, but I haven't really used video as an application for my personal work yet. And so I've been getting into that more and more, especially being out here in such a beautiful location. And then having that translate into a lot of the aerial shots that I'm due to, trying to introduce more video into both the aerial and everything else that I'm doing for my personal work. I'm really excited about that. Excuse me, but I have to take this. Yeah, this is absolutely stunning. Do you have any other projects coming up? I do. Uh, I have a few projects coming up. I'm working on a project right now with Profoto. I'm working on a project with Adobe, doing some really cool things. Uh, the National Historic Trust, we're talking about doing a whole lot of virtual reality tours of all their landmarks and museums at the moment. So I'm really kind of psyched about that. And honestly, the best project that I'm looking forward to 
is the project I'm supposed to be on right now. I'm supposed to be in Japan filming for the iPhone photography school and iPhone mastery class on doing things just like this in places just like this. So Japan, all throughout uh, Greece and Spain, there's gonna be a, a two month filming. So I'm really looking forward to when the world gets back into order, we could finally travel again, uh, getting that project underway. That's gonna be a really fun endeavor. What are some tips for somebody looking to brush up on Photoshop skills during the quarantine? Oh my God, there's so many things that you can do if you're stuck at home right now. Brushing up on Photoshop, on Lightroom, on photography in general, there's so many things you can do. The first place I'd recommend, honestly, is just to go to B&H event space. There are so many videos there. There's so many incredible photographers, presentations, lectures. You could sit home and really hone your craft just by watching all those presentations that they've done. You'll find a lot of mine on there too, so go check them out. But honestly, every single one of them you're gonna find to be a really good resource. And just learn, 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 learn. So when you do, or when you are able to get back out, you are able to go out and explore and do what you love to do, you're gonna be, you're gonna have that skill set, you're gonna have that passion already, and you're really gonna have all the tools that you need to make that, that jump to get even better photos. So definitely go check that out, the b &H event space. What's your favorite part of your work? Ooh, that's a really tough question. Uh, I love photographing, and honestly, I love editing too, but I'd have to say neither. Honestly, I, I'd really have to say what both of those allow me to do, which is be in places like this, and just witness the beauty of something like this. Um, that's my favorite part by far. Do you have a least favorite? Do I have a least favorite part? Uh, yeah, waking up for sunrises. <laughs> I'm much more of a sunset person. Actually, no, I, I will do both, but I much more enjoy uh, the convenience of sunsets. I'm not a big fan of waking up early, but I'll do it every single time if it means I'm gonna get a beautiful shot. What do you do for fun aside from photography? What do I do for fun? Um, man, what don't I do? Uh, there's so many things I love to do. I don't, I truly am not a believer in just having one passion. Uh, if your passion is just photography, how boring is that? I love mountain biking. Uh, I love snowboarding. I love traveling. Uh, I love exploring. I love going on adventures. I love not knowing Every day when I wake up, what's going to happen, what I'm going to do, who I'm going to meet, that's my favorite part. And honestly, that's why I feel blessed to be a photographer, because I get to do all those things on a daily basis. You're cooking in an RV, right? What did you have for breakfast? <laughs> Today I had smiley face avocado toast, my favorite kind of avocado toast. In fact, I get a lot of smiley face foods these days. You know, you got to entertain yourself when you're stuck inside a, an RV the whole day. <laughs> Have you been keeping busy during this quarantine? Have I been able to keep myself busy? Oh my God, absolutely. I've kept myself more busy since the quarantine. Being out in such a beautiful location, being off the grid, living the RV life. Uh, I was so busy before it, just working with clients and doing other things. But honestly, I wasn't shooting as much as I really wanted to. And now being out here, climbing, running around, exploring every single day, I haven't missed a sunrise or a sunset in over two months now. Uh, that, that keeps me busy in the most fun and beautiful way I can imagine. What was the most challenging shoot you've ever had? The most challenging shoot I've ever been on. Oh man. <laughs> you know, I have to probably say, uh, Africa, Kenya, I spent about a little over a month working with an organization called Big Life, uh, rescuing, working with the rangers, rescuing the, the last remaining large herd elephants in East Africa. And every three days I'd have to reinvent myself, go to a new outpost, learn everyone's name, introduce myself, learn the language, and I had to carry everything with me. Uh, my water filtration, I was camping out, so all my camping gear, my drone gear, my video gear, uh, my lighting gear, my camera gear, everything on my back as we went for 10 to 20 mile hikes every day, tracking poachers and tracking the elephants. Uh, it was the most challenging suit of my life, but I have to say it was also one of the most rewarding by far. What's the best piece of advice you can give to a photographer? <sighs> the best piece of advice. Uh, the best advice that I've gotten was to never say no, to say yes. If, any, if a client asks you anything at all, do you know how to do this, do you know how to do that? Yes, of course, and then figure it out. 
That literally is how I made my entire career. I said yes to everything and then I figured it out. And you'll always figure it out if you have the passion and the drive to do it. But I'd also add, say no. After you've said yes, after you've figured things out, after you've found what you love, learn how to say no. Learn to focus on the projects that you really love the most, that you're the most passionate about. Um, that will take you to that whole nother level. So say yes until you can get to the point where you can say no. If there were to be a movie about your life, who would play you? Who would play me in a movie? Oh, I've gotten John Cusack. I don't know why. Uh, I've gotten that by a few people. Uh, I'd probably have to go with him. Maybe, who's the guy from Jerry Maguire? What's his name? Tom Cruise. Uh, charismatic, good looking, charming, roughly about the round height, the same height. Yeah, I'd have to go with Tom Cruise. If you weren't a photographer, what would you be? If I wasn't a photographer, what would I be doing? I'd be a pilot, for sure. Aside from your main gear and your camera, what makes your job easier? The one thing that makes my job easier, by far, my iPhone. From scouting, planning, communicating with clients, now that's pretty much my go-to camera for almost everything. Traveling around the world, just shooting on my phone, and being able to call my mom and send emails out and track my location and track back to my location. Uh, by far, that's the most useful tool I've ever owned. Okay, last question. Who should we interview next? Who should you interview next? Whew. That's an easy one too, actually. My partner in crime, Susan Magnano. We're out here together, we're shooting these beautiful landscapes. Um, what she does is completely different what I do and it kind of blows my mind. Uh, the night photography, the light painting. Uh, I thought the photography ends when the sun goes down and she's opened up a whole new world for me. Go check her out, you're gonna love her work. All right, the sun's almost about to set. I'm gonna grab the last few minutes of light. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Awesome, I'll let you get to it.